And from Egypt this morning, the story of a young girl calling on President Obama to save her family. She's 15 years old. Her name is Dina El Gohari, and she's written an emotional appeal to the president. She's asking him to use his influence to save her and her father from religious persecution. The two are converted Christians, and they live in a part of the world where conversion can mean death. They are also asking help for help to get to America. And Dana Lewis has been following this story for us. He's stream, streaming live to us this morning from Cairo, Egypt. Uh, good morning, Dana. Hi, Martha. You know, I mean, there is a new wave that Christians say uh, here in Egypt of, of violence and discrimination. In this particular case, this man and his 15-year-old daughter who tried to convert from being Muslim uh, to Christians were unsuccessful in the courts. And right now they say that they are on the run. We've been following them. They are indeed living in fear for their lives. Egyptian Maher al-Gohari and his 15-year-old daughter, Dina, never pray twice at the same church. Never stay longer than a month in one apartment, constantly under threat, always on the run. Born Muslims, they became Christians after both of them say they had religious visions. Al-Gohari says he is being hunted. The Muslim... Uh know us, uh, then beginning uh, somebody tried to kill us. They will try to kill you? Yes. Several religious fatwas were issued for spilling his blood after Maher asked an Egyptian court to legally recognize his conversion. The court ruled even in a country that claims to recognize religious freedoms, a legal conversion to Christianity would threaten public order. There are anywhere from 8 to 14 million Christians in Egypt. Earlier this month, three Muslim men sprayed gunfire at a church in Upper Egypt, killing six Christians and wounding up to a dozen more. Christians rioted the next day. Dina has written a letter to President Obama asking for help. You said the Muslim minority in America are treated very well. So why are we not treated here likewise? We are imprisoned in our own home. I'll tell you uh, that we followed these two for a day here in Egypt. Uh, I won't tell you where they are for their own safety. They're not in Cairo anymore. Uh, but they have now uh, appeared before the U.S. Embassy a few days ago and also what's known as the U.S. Committee for International Religious Freedom uh, that has been here from America. They are asking for asylum for refugee status to get out of Egypt. They feel that they can't live here anymore. Back to you, Martha. Right, I'll see. Uh, interesting to see if they get any response uh, to their plea here in the United States. Dana, thank you very much. Dana Lewis with an interesting story from Egypt this morning. In the